Okay, I'm back at the base of the mast and I've put up the amateur version of our military mil 1 antenna which is an N-fed dipole. Uh, this antenna, just recapping, is made from um, a soft stainless. It's very flexible, winds up beautifully on the hand winder. See the load there in the middle. So the this end of the antenna is five and a half meters off the ground, just walking back down towards the center of the antenna. Now, please forgive us for the wind noise. Uh, it is really, really windy where I am. Uh, just coming up to the center feed point now. And you can see the center feed point once again doubles as the hand winder earth off to my right there and just going to wander down here I did say we do a quick little on-air test got my mate Dave from HF radio sales standing by with a Barrett PRC 90 military radio and we're just going to do a, a beacon call uh, into Swan Hill base on 10 meg uh, and uh, the conditions are a bit rough at the moment there's actually some electric fences very very close by which you can probably hear so just listening to the data going through now. And you can hear a nice strong revertive coming back from Swan Hill. Um, now I'm located in uh, the outer suburbs of Brisbane at the moment, so Swan Hill is probably about 17 or 1800 kilometres as the crow flies. Um, and even with electric fences around, we're not having too much trouble. Um, but that just gives a quick, um, quick demonstration of... Um, really quick um, portable comms. Uh, in fact, this antenna in combination uh, with the um, the new Bushcom Quickie um, would be a you know a fantastic under one thousand dollar option for someone needing mobile comms. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.